Hey everybody, if you uh, want to make some modifications to your Ultra Labor, Ultra Saber uh, lightsaber, well then this, uh, this YouTube video might help. Um, I have an, an Overlord Ultra Saber that I purchased back in 2013. And I bought it with a, a blue LED to cosplay as a Jedi. And so, let's see if we can show you what that, that looks like. It's, uh, not sure how well it'll show on the, um, on the video. It is, um, it, it, it's pretty bright probably show pretty bright on the on the video in the room here um, it's a really nice uh, blue LED so let me uh, shoot it off here all right Let's back to uh, back to the video here well um, uh, this year I'm gonna be cosplaying with a Darth Vader suit and I'm like you know I, I want to swap out this blue LED for a red LED and uh, I started doing some uh, some research on the Ultra Saber website and um, they do sell a modular LED system with with various different colors and the pricing starts at $35 but um, I, I sort of didn't want to uh, spend that that amount, and then also um, be stuck with that color LED, and and requires which requires soldering. And then if I wanted to switch out that color LED, then I have to solder again. And, and I really want don't want to have to go through that process. So as I was. Uh, Searching some more on YouTube, there were a couple um, uh, videos there uh, that used either colored discs or I came across this uh, Lee Filter Swatch. And uh, this Lee Filter Swatch book is really amazing. It comes with uh, the entire spectrum of colors. Uh, from purple to blue to green uh, to orange, yellow, uh, pink, and red. I mean, oh my goodness. And um, the, the, the theory here is you, you find the, the swatch color that you want. And this is a, um, it's like a film. It's, this is a professional, this is used in professional lighting industry. And you... Um, uh, the, for the Ultra Saber, what we're going to do is we're just going to cut out a circle and um, and then insert it in in the lightsaber with the with a white LED. And so um, um, so I'm going to go ahead and start here. I'm going to remove the the batteries since uh, I'm going to be taking this apart and soldering, and I really don't want um, anything with any kind of power uh, applied. Um, I don't want to short anything out, so you want to be safe. So I'm going to take the, first of all, take the, the batteries out. And let's just let's put this back back together here. Now, when I was taking the uh, this lightsaber apart, it's like, um, I could see the LED inside, but I was like, how, how do I get, get to this thing? And I was, you know, trying to figure out how, how to get in there. And um, this, this part right here, it actually comes threads loose. And, it, and coming from the from Ultra Saber, it was tight on there. I've already loosened it. But if you, you get your hands on there real, real tight, you can unscrew... Um, put enough uh, force, and and this guy will it will come come out loose uh, very nicely. You're just going to unscrew that that part. Okay, we're going to set that aside. We we don't we don't need that right now. And the the LED is actually in, inside here. And, I, and then I was like, 
oh how do how do I get that thing? Um, and it was it was kind of tight in there, uh, and I was trying to unscrew it. There's no screw, and if you you kind of work that that piece, eventually it just it just slides out. Yeah, and this is that uh, modular LED system. It just it'll just slide out, and um, uh, that's what it looks like on that end. And um, there's a there's an Allen wrench. Um, socket right there and what you do is just uh, put that allen wrench find the appropriate size allen wrench uh, hold hold the allen wrench but turn turn this outside system this outside metal part because if you turn the allen wrench then the wires they're just going to coil around each other so i'm just turn turning this part uh, uh, out counterclockwise and um, this big screw piece comes off now now what's in here is the uh, the actual there's a this is for one LED um, it's um, it's plastic but um, it sort of helps focus the the light coming out of this one LED in into the the, the lightsaber part and um, there's a little um, the, the LED will fit inside uh, this this plastic part um, so we want to put that back and make sure sure it's nice and flat um, and then um, this this metal the metal piece kind of the, there's it's got four grooves on it for the two the positive the red positive black negative ne negative um, wires to sort of uh, they go in um, these slots one on one end one on the other uh, because this part will then then screw screw back in here, and uh, so this is the uh, the LED, the housing, the substrate, and the LED that that it comes with, and it's it's soldered on there. And um, if you look very carefully, um, and you might might need a magnifying glass, but there's a, a positive and negative terminal, and then a, a positive and negative terminal. There's a little plus sign, plus and minus sign there, and the red is uh, soldered to the the plus, and the um, the the black that's soldered to the minus. And so, I was like, you know what, I I need to find um, one of these guys, uh, but that's white. Uh, wh where do I find that? And uh, if you flip over on the back, I, I doubt you'll be able to see. But I, I found the part the part number of this piece. It's um, this is what came from Ultra Ultra Saber, and um, this part like as I was saying, it's a sole semiconductor. I was able to type in the the part number here. Found out that it's uh, it's discontinued, but I, I was able to get some of the specs off it and and found out that it has a 3.25 voltage. And 22 lumens. And that 22 lumens is the the brightness of, of that colored LED. And so I was like, you know, I'm going to use that information to determine the replacement LED that I that I get. Um, continued to do some uh, some internet searching and discovered a, a company called LED Supply Company with a ton. Of these uh, LED modules, apparently it's very popular, and this is the the one I purchased. I, I actually purchased two different ones. This one that I purchased right here is an XP-E2 Cree uh, LED, and uh, the 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 version that I went that I'm going to install today is the warm white uh, version. And uh, its uh, voltage rating is 3.25, which is very, uh, it, which is exactly what what the other um, LED is. And this warm white uh, LED has 87 uh, lumens, which is uh, pretty about four times more than than the original. Um, I also found uh, under this XPE2 series of, of LEDs, there's a neutral white uh, that has uh, 100 lumens. Um, 
but I was like, you know what? I, I don't want it to be extremely bright because I'm going to be using these leaf filters and, and I'm not really sure if um, the white will overpower the, the LE filter. So I'm going to go with my first install using the 87.4 lumen warm white LED. Now, what's interesting about this, this component here is the LED is it's a surface mount LED and um, not exactly sure how it's made, but this the bottom piece uh, is is metal. It looks like a, a um, aluminum, and I think um, maybe the top part is is ceramic. the The point is that when you um, it's going to take quite a bit of heat to to create uh, a good solder joint bond. Um, but I, I've got a good good soldering iron, um, and what I did was I went ahead and pre-tinned. Um, uh, the, this is the minus, and I pre-tinned the positive. I went ahead and did that. I pre-tinned them. Uh, it has two other pads that that um, show no solder in them. That's how the whole piece came from LEDsupply.com. Uh, and, and the really neat part is this piece right here only cost $2.99. And um, there was uh, um, no, no shipping. It was free shipping. So um, I got two of these. I got the warm white and the neutral white for $5.98. And, and you can't beat that. Um, the, uh, go, coming back to the LED filters, this, this swatch book... Um, is two dollars and it's from the LED filter USA.com I'll, I'll put the all the links on, on down on the bottom on the on the YouTube page but um, what's interesting is the, the LED filter um, had a dollar ninety nine coupon um, and then shipping seven dollars and fifty cents so to get the Lee filter swatch book total seven dollars and fifty one cents and then the uh, the warm white LED. If you just get one, it's two ninety nine free shipping. So let's let's see how this turns out. So I need to un unsolder the the existing wires here. I'm going to be very careful because um, I really don't want to um, to break the wires, uh, bend them, or anything. Now this the piece is not not holding holding down. I really don't want to hold it down with my finger because that this entire metal backing it's going to get hot. Um, so let let me see what I can find. I want to kind of hold it down with one. Uh, see if I can get a. Uh, I'm going to use this screw screwdriver I have here. Just sort of hold it down. And uh, if I heat this up, the uh, the wire should pop loose. There we go. That wire popped loose right there. And let's uh, heat that one. Okay, that guy popped loose. All right, not bad at all. Not bad at all. Okay, so we're going to move that out. So I need to attach the um, the positive and negative here. Okay, so. Let, let me see how, how this is going to work. Hmm. Okay, so so when when you do soldering, you don't want to. Uh, I'm going to tin um, tin my lid here. Just cleaned off the tape, make sure it's clean, and I'm going to tin it with a little bit of solder. Um, you don't want the heat to be directly on the joint. You want to heat the entire surface. And then I'll apply the wire to it, and that will make a, a good solder joint. So let, let's see how we're, we're going to go here on the end. Start on the end. Apply a little bit of heat there. Um, the uh, wow, it's not a the whole piece isn't isn't. There we go. Gonna get that. Okay, it all melted. I'm letting go. I'm holding the wire there till it cools off. Okay, success. That was the positive. Okay, and uh, whoa, whoa, that thing is hot. Wow. Okay, <laughs> yeah, 
the uh, like I said, the the bottom of that um, uh, uh, of this uh, module is is metal, so it sucks in the heat. It, it collects the heat real fast. All right, so we're gonna do the the. Um, I wonder, I'm trying to think here. I think I might might want the uh, the wire to go the wire to go this way on this one so that it bends. I want the wires to be able to bend and go down down these slots here. So let me rotate this around like this. Okay, yeah, I think that's gonna work really nicely. Okay. Now that has one wire on the uh, attached, it's kind of lifting up up a bit. I'm going to tin my lead here again. Okay, going to go here and see if I can heat that up. I am going to now apply the wire to the solder that's melted. Ah, there we go. It, you can see that the uh, solder flows. Remove it and let it cool. Okay. All right, now I know that that guy's hot. I am not gonna touch that. I'm gonna blow on it. See if that cools it, cools it off a bit. Uh, let me see. Okay, no, it's still, still kinda hot, wow. Um, okay. I have to let that that cool a bit. This um, the insulation on these guys is um, it's not Teflon, so I really need to cool that down. I want don't want to bend it on there and, and melt the insulation on the wire and then actually short short out the, the positive and negative. So we're going to take a little break here, let all this cool, and come back and and carry on.